Hey, MLS listening subscribers. Thanks for tuning in to our newest podcast here. Today, we're going to talk a little data accuracy. And you can't talk data accuracy without Robert Bustamani, our director of compliance. Robert, how are you doing today? Very well, Dave. Thanks for having me. Glad to be here. Uh, thanks, for, thanks for coming on, taking the time here. And yeah, so we're going to talk a little data accuracy. And I think, you know, Robert, this is a question that I, I think all MLS has kind of struggle with, right? Um, it, it never really goes away. Um, and, and it can be a tough, tough topic to broach. But I guess maybe we start with, you know, what is, you know, in terms of MLS listings, you know, do we have a rule? What is our data accuracy rule? And, you know, what is our data policy? Right. Yeah, you, 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 you're touching right on the, you're hitting the nail right on the head where MLS is across the country have this uh, data accuracy. It's not a struggle, but it's an opportunity because it's probably the most reliable property data you're going to get because it originates with broker licensees who have a tremendous amount of oversight on them, right? And consequences for, you know, uh, bad data. And, and at the same time, it's uh, like moving targets, right? Where it what's we had a conversation just, just earlier where the property had a pool and now it doesn't have a pool, right? And you have to be cognizant of the time between you know point A and point B. What what does it have today? What how big is it today? What you know what are the amenities today? So uh, MLS listings, you know, um, we have very reliable data, uh, but it's only as good as our agents and brokers that input it right so it's a, it's a right. definitive version of you know uh data in data out if it's reliable going in it's going to be reliable going out and people can use that in their business decisions so you know it, it, it's something that we perpetuate it's something that we have today and you know there's a tremendous amount of oversight like i said uh, with brokers their risk management programs uh, the MLS compliance department and just general agent to agent who call each other out when they say, you know, you put this room was blue and it's actually green, right? You better go change that. So, and, and you make a good point because you know we don't we don't create any data really. We're not the source, it, right? The content wise, you know, that is the listing agent. Right? Right. We rely on their due diligence and their knowledge You're to right. really be as reliable as possible as they can, right? Right. And so, you know, this is built up over time and uh, realtor licensees have reputations and they have professionalism, but we do have rules which say, you know, you need to make your best faith efforts in, in verifying the data as you enter it. Right. And if somebody can demonstrate or the MLS can demonstrate or has documentary evidence to the contrary about some data point that's entered, our compliance team kicks in and we have a conversation with the listing agent talking about show them our documentary evidence and then they make the correction and now it's even more reliable so that's a, that's a it's a partnership we have with our community and it's a very successful partnership because people will make a mistake somebody will identify the mistake contact us or contact the agent directly and the agent corrects the mistake and voila, you know, the, the, the data is hygiene and the reliability just keeps getting higher and higher. Right. Cause it's in the best interest of everyone to, to have reliable data. Right? Yeah. I think it's the listing agent. Yeah. I've heard you say before that it's all about transparency, right? And that the key words are the three D's and what are those three D's, David? Disclosure, 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 disclosure. disclosure right. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, we say, if you're not sure, say you're not sure. Right. Uh, Buyer to verify uh, square footage, a uh, 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 seller is unsure of permits, right? Now the buyer's side can do their due diligence and say, okay, let me check. Right. And we see that a lot. I mean, obviously the agents don't want the liability of you know, schools, for instance, right? right? You know, we don't require them to put in the specific high school because a lot of time pre-enrollment might change. Yeah, yeah. It, it, things like that. But um, if you know... But if you know, great, put it in. Put it but in. There's yeah. always that caveat, you know, that agents can do, right? Kind of a best practices wise, we have private remarks that, you know, are for agents where you can really say anything to another agent. And, that's you know, that's where you can put in there, hey, buyer needs to verify this square footage. Right. You know, you, the buyer needs to verify the school. Um, yeah. You know, you're trying to help, but at the end of the day, it, it, some of that due diligence falls on the buyer themselves. Right. right? Yeah. And you're never really sure what the buyer's going to focus in on. Right. They might they might have a certain element 
of this property that they that it's their uh, deal deal or no deal kind of thing. So when you're listing all of these elements, right, you you try to make sure that you have the absolute best, most current, reliable information, and then you pass that along to the buyer's agent for their client, and then you have the uh, transaction dance, you know, where they, they talk to each other and, and figure out what what is what. They show it, they see it, they inspect it, and then they buy it, right? And that's really the everyone's goal, right? And they and they get some choices. I mean, they can import data, right? Certain fields on listing management, you know, are imported from obviously you know realist tax records, right? Uh, that kind of a thing. Right. Uh, at the end of the day, though, we're not again. We're not the source of that data, right? Um, and and that make it clear. Yeah, and that's important that when you say, when you bring in data from other sources, you need to make, not make sure, do your best to ensure that it's as accurate as it can be, right? Because the other sources are doing their best to make sure it's accurate as they can be. And who knows, you know, uh, what, what, what has changed or what has transpired from the last time they had that record. So just be, just be diligent, be aware, right? And then be professional. And, and, and I, our community is, our data is very reliable. I, I was uh, talking to you earlier about our, our development team creates these business rules when you list. And, and sometimes you stumble over them and go, gosh, darn it. You know, why did they not letting me do this? Well, it's because the zip code didn't tie to that particular city. Right. And so you can't enter a wrong zip code. You'd be surprised how other MLSs have violations for yeah, they allow that kind wrong, of standard wrong zip code, right? And you're going, oh, how could that be, right? And uh, we just don't have that problem because we have these business rules. But even then, sometimes you have, like, I think Mariposa County has, like, or LaGrange has three zip codes for that city. And so it's quite possible that you're listing a property that's never been listed before, and it has a different zip code than what our business rules allow. You let us know, and our development team will add that zip code to that to that city. So, you know, we we're always changing and digesting and trying to make it as pinpoint accurate as possible with respect to all the property data. Yeah. So, Robert, if, you know, agents and I know agents ask or ask you this question. This question gets asked, you know, uh, but if an agent does ask you, you know, is our data reliable? Um, if we have, you know, the one thing, the first thing I learned was the phrase, you know, our data is reliable, but not guaranteed. Yeah, right? that's, that's our power phrase, right? Deemed reliable, but not guaranteed. So it's reliable, right? It'll right. put you into the ballpark of, uh, of accuracy. But if your buyer has a sharp pen or wants to put a sharp point on, on all the details, do the due diligence and, and find out exactly to the buyer satisfaction of what that data point is, you know, right. does the does the structure have a permit? Yes or no. If that's if that's your buyer's concern, find out. Do the do, 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 do a little work, and then you'll be satisfied. Oh, hey, hey, yeah, it does have a permit, or no, it doesn't. Do you still want to buy it? And the right? community kind of polices itself, right? In a in a fashion that we have that report of listing, you know, on everything, and you know, we won't actually know if something is maybe inaccurate. Um, right. a lot of times. So, so if an agent does come across something and they believe inaccurate, they can use that reporter listing. They can contact you guys. Um, you know, if, if there's some evidence naturally that it is incorrect, you know, uh, we could, we could maybe get correct that data, but yeah, otherwise. We, yeah, sure. That you can report. We encourage you to report any listing that you believe has a violation. Right. And then uh, we do our diligence to the extent we can and make a determination. Are they violated the rule? with this from this report uh we're not investigators right uh we're not attorneys we don't have private eyes we don't send a team out to take pictures and follow you and things like that um, um but to the best of our ability within our scope of our business practice we try to make a determination and if we can't we say you know what uh this doesn't appear to be a rule violation because it's so broad or you know there's something that 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 with that we just can't prove and so you know, we, we, we let you know. So I guess to summarize here, uh, a key point to take away, right? Disclose, disclose, disclose. Disclose, disclose, disclose. Never going to get in trouble for over-disclosing. Right, right, right. And then, yeah, if you're not sure, say you're not sure. Um, and do your due diligence. Uh, try it. Make sure that you have you talk to your broker about risk management. What is it I can put? What I can't put? What, what do we like to do as a, as a brokerage? And then contact the MLS if you have any questions about a particular 
item and we'll be happy to help you. Right. Yeah. Use those private remarks. Um, and like you said, you know, I know Robert, you're always open to having this discussion with, with anyone. Uh, so, you know, if this, if you have a concern, they can always reach out to compliance with compliance at mlslistings.com is your yeah, area. Yeah, or compliance at mlslistings.com. That'll put you in to, with our, uh, our agents. You can contact us via phone or we have a uh, web presence in our support community. We have a contact compliance and, um, you can set in this little form you can set in, you can type out whatever length of message you want to send us and, and we'll get the ball rolling with any kind of concern. Fantastic. You know, yeah, with, you know, the future, I'm sure this, this topic, it won't go away. I will only it'll get more maybe convoluted when, you know, you got AI, artificial intelligence and all these yeah. sources and, you know, it's just uh, something. Yeah, we, you know, yeah. So, you know, virtual, virtual staging and, right. and, and all of the AI happening, we're already looking down the road at, uh, okay, what are we going to be able to do? What should we disclose? Uh, like a little tick mark, uh, images have been modified. Right. You know, we have, we have, we're thinking about all of these things right now um, because it's coming, you know, invariably it'll be really virtual. You'll put on these headsets, you know, and you're looking through these goggles and you're walking through the property. Right. Uh, right. Yeah. It's, it's going to be crazy. It's, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Well, Robert, I want to thank you for coming on. Um, and, you know, addressing the topic. And again, for anyone out there who has any questions, uh, concerns, right? Uh, again, reach out to Robert and his group, uh, compliance at MLSlistings.com. Thanks again, Robert. You bet. Thanks, Dave.